Can I get to 100 hits? Ooh. Can I kill? Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. The sauce. And there's your sauce. <laughs> there it is. What is up, y'all? KRC Pinto here. Welcome back to Secret Sauce. Today, another X-Men Children of the Atom episode. I am joined by Red Soda Pop, aka RSP. Dude, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm glad that you take interest in uh, female Cyclops. I mean, <clears throat> Psylocke. <laughs> yep, I've, I've seen you refer to her as that a couple times. Um, dude, pretty interesting character. Uh, I've heard her called the glass cannon of the game um i've heard her projectile complained about quite a bit over the course of filming these so i'm interested to dive into her a little bit what makes you choose her over cyclops if she's the female cyclops you know what's what's the distinction here so as you said she's kind of like the glass cannon of the game well the kind of unofficial glass cannon since technically there's other glass cannons um but uh Psylocke's as the name implies, Psylocke's um, damage output is actually very high, and so she can get she can get disgusting damage at like a disgusting rate, which um, is very good, especially for Coda, since very early very early on getting damage to rack up really quickly because of the scaling, the, the intense scaling that happens there later on in the combo, uh, makes her really beneficial since she she can do like. You can get like a good 40% off before scaling really like hits and you do like one damage per hit. Yeah, you, also, you just hit oh, like a third of his health with like three buttons or something like that. That was really crazy high. Yeah, like that we're yeah. down to 90 after the third hit. That's that's kind of wild. Yeah, it's in, it's insane. People don't like this character. I like <laughs> She also has crazy options. Uh, mostly, mostly like a lot of her... Of her um and the uh, good button stuff like for example we have hp hk oh you're gonna hear about hk a lot <laughs> so H hp hk which have like very weird hit and hurt boxes as you can see here uh hp you she doesn't even have a hit box on her on her arm like that like her it's just one big rectangle and like hk you have this what is this? She's abandoning um, her her hurt box. She's literally exiting it. <laughs> That's it's, awesome. It's it's crazy. She can kind of low prior priority stuff with with certain buttons like this, this, this. Um, she is just a she's just a menace when it comes to big buttons because she has big buttons that are both safe, plus, and crazy good, and also, uh, one of her big things is her speed. Oh my goodness. This bitch is fast. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a fucking crackhead. I don't know why she is so fast, but especially grounded, I'd say I'd say there's characters that are more faster than her, mostly because um, they have certain like quirks like air dash, like for example Storm. But um, this bitch is just fast, man. Like she can cover she can cover ground so quickly, which fits into some other stuff I'll be talking about later. Sweet, man. Well, she sounds like a blast. I'm excited to uh, explore her kid a bit. You ready to get started? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. I always like to start these with an elevator pitch for the character. You know, if you were in an elevator with someone and you only had one sentence to sell them on Psylocke, you know, give me give me the sell for this character in just a few words. Uh, live fast, die hard. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You know what? I can see it. You uh, you get the damage output, you get the speed, but if you get tagged, she's uh in a bad spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Psylocke is especially known for blowing up. She isn't. I believe she isn't the. She doesn't have the worst stamina in the game, but she has really bad stamina. She's like I think second or third lowest in this game. So you tag her, and you get a really good hit. You get a really good confirm off it. You do like 50% into stun, and then she dies. Sounds about right. Yep. Glass cannon, like we were saying. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, again, upside, she does, like, humongous amount of damage. Again, as I showed earlier. And also, 
she has crackhead speed with like ridiculously good buttons that that it's really hard to kind of counter around what's uh what's your favorite move of hers and why oh boy now it's kind of a meme in the coda community that uh psylocke is also just hk but every psylocke player's favorite button is the hk and by every psylocke player i mean just me i guess <laughs> <laughs> but um every psylocke player is hk so to quickly go over hk hk is this button it doesn't really seem that good at first because you can just seems like a good like kind of string ender just boom boom and then you you try to follow up after in fact it's like i think it may be negative on hits normally but she has a special kind of mechanic with this or mechanic i'm pretty sure it's a glitch honestly but <laughs> but she can jump cancel this and that's really unique because coda characters usually can't jump cancel stuff they can only super jump, jump cancel stuff and um with this quirk she can also similar to cyclops crouch cancel and so this is actually why most of the comparisons come up because oh they both have hk and they both have like kind of similar buttons so although she on even though on paper she's kind of different um like kind of with her kit and how you use it um it's very uh different than uh what cyclops does but i guess if there's a comparison to be had hk the same th the same kind of just as uh, cyclops except it's less of an anti-air and more of like a kind of like mid grounded hit so it's very very good um so mix this with like dash momentum and you get like stuff like this which it becomes like an infinite jeez so if you just keep on crowd canceling it and just yeah that, that looks so funny <laughs> <laughs> i personally don't like to just do hk ha ha mostly because i think the the corner carry is not that good um for for that but um hk is definitely a really good button it can go under some stuff because again her her boxes are all fucked up um and you just get insane damage off it insane combos and it can lead to some kooky re um kind of interactions on block especially since it's like plus 15 on block if you if you cancel it correctly damn all right fair enough that's a that's a justified favorite move right there all right so let's move into gameplay so let's talk about psylocke in neutral this is probably the aspect I've seen the most of the character because her projectile is so uh, well known. <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> people consider projectile very annoying. Uh, some people even say it's one of the better projectiles in the game. I personally disagree, but it's certainly a very good one. So she can just like stand back and do this. She can hit it at multiple ranges. Um, and like... Again, it builds up stun pretty good too. I think like after four or five hits, uh, it causes a stun. So um, it's very annoying to deal with, and especially in the air, you can just yep, uh, uh yep. <laughs> so you can just kind of you can try to kind of harass people with it. Don't get too comfortable with it though. I I would say because um, this is actually negative on hit, very up close. Like I think it's like negative five, and so you will you will get punished for it she does uh have very very like hard projectile to kind of deal with it has some downsides again the negative on hit thing she does take a while to recover too i think her recovery overall is like about almost almost like a whole second actually it looks it looks faster than it actually is to kind of like rapid fire it but um when when the projectiles don't work, um, I'd say, like, personally me, I like to kind of beta out attack. So I like to dash dash back, back dash forward kind of became a meme um, because it's so, Psylocke's so fast and covers a lot of space so quickly that um, dash back, dash forward to kind of, like, beta out attacks. So, like, boom, 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 and then kind of, like, whiff punish them. 
it's a very very effective strategy um and then using certain buttons in neutral like uh 2mk to kind of to slide under um opponents and this is actually this is actually like one of her main launchers too so you can actually get some air combos off it if you're if especially if you're in the corner dude that move it looks like you it's it's happening kind of fast but it looks like you're extending a super disjointed hitbox up and then pulling her entire hurt box down is that what's going on there yes oh man <laughs> This is only her 2MK, by the way. Like, this oh, is, this is just a really disgusting button. I don't know. I don't know what was the design choice over here. Like, they just made her. They just made her buttons, like, really degenerate for no reason. But... I've learned that the lore of this game is that Psylocke has invincible legs. That's got to be the lore. That's her mutant power. None of the rest yeah. of that stuff. It's just invincible legs. Didn't you read the comics? That's yeah. exactly <laughs> And then the step dash looks cool too it, when she does that roll is her her box coming to the ground as oh, that's happening yeah. i actually thank you for reminding me i forgot to mention her her box is actually very low to the ground you can't really it's kind of hard to see since she's so fast and you have to like the green collision box but her her box is very low to the ground like i think up to it's up to cyclops's uh waist so yep. she can she can like go under stuff like this this character is low priority the character sometimes like you have this you have her normal dash you have this button too which also like makes her hurt box go really weird and then you have two hk which is like her probably her lowest move which is really good to actually like go under stuff you can go under like you know there are a lot of stuff with this you can even go under like omega red coils for example damn it's really risky though since she doesn't go fully like like prone until like i think like frame i want to say like frame five or something like that but and also um even though it looks kind of good uh the range on the kick oddly enough the range on the sweep is not that good yeah the top leg's going further but it's just being invincible there <laughs> yeah so you can kind of get it sometimes, but most of the time you don't want to go under stuff. And because you can jump cancel, you can super jump cancel anything in this game. You just want to boom, boom, like immediately escape. I like the movement aspect of her neutral. Um, the low profiling is interesting. She also has, like, aren't like pretty much all of her buttons super disjointed? Like, yes. she, I, I feel like she has, she has pretty good poke range in general, right? Like, she can do a lot of safe, spaced kind of stabbing yeah this is crazy crazy pokes that lead into like big combos so this is like 5 mp which is like probably her i well actually i think hk is i mean hp is her her farthest reaching button but mp is kind of like my go-to button for her personally like this this button is super good she kind of moves forward with it like she kind of leans into it uh ironically uh mk is also a really good button but it doesn't go as far as m uh mp can see she, she kind of leans back during uh mk so you have this it's really disjointed too since like her the top of her foot actually does not have a hitbox yeah i can see it like cutting off at her shin there yeah although it's again it's nowhere as like doesn't go anywhere as close as as mp so this is more used as a safer option for MP, even though you wouldn't really need a safer option again, because this button's also disjointed. <laughs> it's also just a big, like again, a big rectangle. Like I, I don't know why they did this. <laughs> it looks like how high it hits above where her like forearm is. Yeah, it covers her head too. So like if sometimes you can get like a good anti-air with it, even though it's not a really good um, anti-air in general. Like, but you can kind of sneak a sneak an anti-air sometimes with this button. Other than that, you have like HP for anti airs or like some far pokes. This can be crouched under, so I mean, I wouldn't really get too comfortable with this, but you can kind of like kind of go around and and poke them with it, especially if you're using dash momentum. Like, this is basically a button that covers the covers all of the ground with uh, dashing. 
And then you have like again HK, which also can HK low profile. HK the goat. <laughs> so if you do like dash back, dash forward, and like you're trying to kind of bait out the opponent, they throw out a button, duck under the button, boom, 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 and then they die. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Push that button again. What is that hitbox in the middle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she got a waistline hitbox? Like, what is that? <laughs> Man, I don't question the design of this game, but yeah, she has a... She has a weird, awkward looking hitbox. She's like headbutting behind her? Is it a hair whip? Like, what's going I, on? I don't know, man. I I wish I can give you the answer to that. This, obviously, this hitbox does not come into play anywhere because um, she can't really, she can't really use it, I guess, because like, she's up close. I, oh, I guess that's why, because they want to kind of avoid you whiffing, I guess, up, a, really up close. What a weird thing. I, man, I, dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> this game is unhinged. You kind of like learn not to question it anymore after after like a few a few play sessions. All right, so we've got a ton of disjoints, crazy movement, and we've got a great projectile. Uh, my understanding is that aside from the projectile, you don't really want to use her special moves in neutral because the recovery is bad. Is that is that something you'd agree with? Yeah. Actually, I don't really consider Coda a really like special heavy game. Like most most character specials are not that good unless you're like super privileged. But um, don't use any of Sandlock's other specials. What does she um, even have? Like I was trying to look at the wiki earlier, and it it has the inputs listed, but there's no images for any of them except for the clones. Um, yeah, that's, that's actually my fault. <laughs> <I was laughs> <laughs> everybody everybody blame this man <laughs> but but let's walk through it a little bit so i'm um, two three six lm and hp is projectile right yes sir all right so next one on there's two three six lk and then there's an mk and an hk or right, what do we get yeah. for those all right so this is side blade side oh, this is like marvel 2 or something okay and side blade is really good in that game mostly because you can cancel it um so you can you can super cancel it this game does not have super cancels. Side blade is extremely negative, even on hit. This this button is this super is just bad. So um, I guess to kind of go on a little tangent about this this special, special is horrible. If anything, you have you can kind of like travel with it with with um with dashing, so you can kind of like go full screen with it, which eh. It's not that much of a good quality when you have like other buttons that could do the same thing. But um, other than uh, Psylocke's um, LK, which is like her lowest, she goes the lowest to the ground with this one. Um, she also has MK, which goes kind of uh, diagonal up. And then HK, where she goes like sh more or less straight up. Um, these buttons are negative on hit. You never want to use these. <laughs> So Psylocke, if if I have the frame data correctly, um, after a side blade, it takes I think about twenty frames after she hits the ground to actually fully recover. Oof. So I am holding up during this. No. She has a. You know that she's fully recovered when her her like weird boob physics like go back. She has like a weird jiggle. Oh no, not Capcom, please. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know, man. This especially in the air cuz the air version the air versions don't change. Like the recovery is based on like how how far you are to the ground. Yes, yeah, so you so, have to land then have 20 frames. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, pass. So you can make stuff negative. They can hit you during that. That's a negative combo. Like you're you're dead. Like you're not you're not recovering. You're <laughs> So this is a no-no move. Yeah, this is a no-no move. I only use this to either meme or I use this to chip because this actually has like I think it it hits a total of like 3 times, but you can actually get to hit 4 times sometimes. Okay. Um Cause it has like, 
she like spins around. I think like the total numbers could be six in theory, but like you're not gonna hail the hits, so just uh disgusting move. It does because this is this is like technically her DP, so it does have iframes. It has like five frames of iframes. You're gonna get blown up. Don't don't try it, please. I'm begging you, do not try it. <laughs> All right, so that is that is the main other special, and then the the one after that's the two one four, which is the clones. All right, so clones, clones is a kind of eh move. It's not that good. <laughs> it's not that good, mostly because she doesn't really have much time in it, and also the like thirty frames of startup. But to cost meter um, too. Oh yeah, it costs meter. This yeah. is also like considered a uh, X move, so. Gotcha. This actually does cost meter. I'm gonna get back. Yeah, I need. Thank you, Cyclops. Um, so the position of the clones is actually based on what you press. So there's five clones in total. Don't ask me why there's five clones, but it's also based on the button you press. Six buttons. I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> um, but uh, it's based on the button you press, and actually the positions don't change based on based on if you're facing left or right. It's always gonna be either um lk is all the way to the left and hk is all the way to the right yes okay cool and she can actually change positions like m during the 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 um uh her duration in it like boom it kind of like i've kind of used this to meme on, on people uh so they can like they can actually guarantee a hit and you can kind of exchange mid mid hit. It's really it's really fun shenanigans, but it's not that good. Again, the 30 frames of startup or so. Um, the the time actually we found out that the timer for clones actually happens during startup. So <laughs> she's losing time while she's in that while she's in that like startup animation. It's kind of ridiculous. It's not it's not fun. Um, she can move through characters if that's a plus. Kind of like side switch. Right. At least there's some kooky, kooky little animations. Kooky little interactions. But other than that, other than like a few shenanigans, it's a really gimmicky move that you're not going to use. Let's talk about Psylocke's pressure. So... We've got crazy movement. We got a lot of disjoints. It seems like you're in a good position to get people at the very least blocking. So what are you doing when you get someone stuck in block? How are you making them sweat? Oh, this character is a pressure machine. She is she is really degenerate for pressure, mostly because of HK. Again, you make yourself plus 15, but she just has a lot of frame traps. People. Uh, are scared to press against her and that's that's how you kind of like separate like good side look from bad if they're if they're really afraid of pressing on you because you have kind of if i'm gonna let me put the opponent to uh block real quick so they're gonna be scared to press on you this is actually i think plus two on block oh nice without yeah without like things so you can kind of like you can stagger it then you can go like that she has a again her dash is really good and also i guess for everyone at home who doesn't know um dash momentum is its own mechanic in coda um dashing actually changes the the properties of attacks like on basically every grounded attack so you can make your so usually um overall it makes attacks do more hit stun or block stun so you can actually make yourself plus by doing this so this this move becomes way more plus hk somehow becomes way more plus that's what it needed uh, right <laughs> <laughs> no don't worry she needs it she needs it <laughs> um hk becomes way more plus uh you have two two lk which is a really good low button which becomes plus she becomes plus on everything on well not everything but almost everything on on dash so you can just you can just stagger stuff and hit them with this which is actually a way more plus than this but i like to use this better because the range 
but you can do that you can do you can do this and even hk even just doing hk on block is a very scary thing for some players because they don't really they don't really have an option for this most uh, not most characters but uh some of the cast just doesn't don't really have options against this other than a very risky option like say cyclops dp which is way more risk reward than than she gets she you have to kind of guess if you're gonna hit the dp because she can just like stop and if you don't you die and if you do you just return back to neutral so very risk re like very risk reward in her favor kind of kind of thing right and she just gets a ridiculous amount of frame drops unfortunately i can't really see i can't really show you the the opponent mashing but <clears throat> um one of the big things with psylocke is getting characters to up back so up back actually let me go to the other corner for this because um i guess let me let me show you the secret psylocke sauce i guess this is what you're here yeah. for yeah huh? <laughs> let's go roll credits <laughs> <laughs> but uh psylocke well in coda in general um up backing well suki guard uh as it's referred to which is the super jump up back mm -hmm. uh super jumping during during uh, blocks done is a very powerful option in this game mostly because characters don't really have options to deal with it a lot of the time other than air grab which uh if you know anything about this game you have if the opponent is hit on block or on on hit uh, they have six to eight frames where their um, grab box is not there. It's like it disappeared for some reason. I guess it's to kind of prevent um, tick throws and like give characters some like throwing vulnerability. But um, that's beside the point. Um, there's not really much options characters can can do against this. Um, Psylocke is actually very different. Um, I ended up finding tech for her that makes this character a absolute menace in the corner. And this is Psylocke's cross-up glitch, which I have kind of coined as Cross Crush, which is like a really cringy name I've named it. I like it. it. Has a, it's got, it's has got the right amount of edge. It's good. Cross exactly. Crush. Exactly. You, I'm you into see, it. You, under, you understand. I get you, RSP. Yeah, no stress. Thank you. I'm, Thank I'm with you. you. It's a good name. So that's the whole Kodo community. Thank you. <laughs> I'll slide you a 50 under the table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I need to have a recording for this. So in the scenario you're, and you're like pressuring them and they Suki guard, Psylocke has a cross-up glitch where, now this is going to take a while since it's kind of inconsistent. No stress. But again, there's not really risk reward in her favor. She gets no, there's no risk. I guess see it. there we go. There we go. Whoa. So that it looks like that button's hitbox is just like sneaking around behind his foot. Yeah, so it actually becomes more consistent on buttons that um can kind of like go behind the opponent. Right. Um so you can yeah, you can do that. <laughs> and you can kill him for up up backing. But, and they have to know to switch their block on that and like why would they do that <laughs> yeah exactly so there is a way to block it like you have to block forward but who's going to block forward <laughs> yeah you also have to like assume the person's gonna get it right timing because otherwise you're letting go of block and you're gonna get swatted anyway yeah that's so bad oh no <laughs> <laughs> it is the most ambiguous cross-up i've ever seen and the most horrible just degenerate 50 50 ever and the worst part is even though it looks very like obvious like oh yeah if she's kind of hitting you from behind then um then uh just block forward again the inconsistencies with it which is actually oddly a plus with it but also there's certain quirks where actually it hits in front of the opponent. Like you hit them and it just, that's why it was kind of assumed it was an unblockable for a while because opponent, because people were getting hit from it like 
in the very front of their hitbox, and they didn't know what the fuck was happening. Dude, that's crazy. Wait, so you're saying like, so I've I've seen it connect on the backside a lot, but you're saying she can throw the punch like in its chest and it's still hitting behind him? Yeah. Oh no. And it's kind of it's kind of hard to demonstrate because that's actually the. I guess the less that you're behind, that the hitbox goes behind them, the more inconsistent it gets, but it's happened. In fact, I, I have um, recordings of it because I was kind of uh, labbing this. But again, the risk reward is not there. That's just... The risk reward for her is like she gets to do it again because super jump state um, gets you, can give you multiple hits. So like... There's no risk reward. It's either you don't get hit by it and you live another day, or you get hit by it and you die. Dude, that's awful. Uh, and you're it looks like you're going straight into like her corner infinite add that. Is that like easily confirmable? Um you kinda have to like be on guard with it, but it's not that hard to to kind of confirm. But you're gonna see me drop it a bit. Good lord. Yeah. And then sometimes you can just get like a tick throw out of it anyway. Well, like, yeah, and that's the other thing is that you you have a couple botched versions where you're just grabbing them anyway. So, so it's, uh, ah, <laughs> <laughs> there's no escape. This character is a menace, and people people don't like her for a reason. Jeez, yeah, that's See nuts. I'm getting hit by some version of this every time. There's no way. And that does half your health plus stun. Like, you're dead. That's it. I don't know what else to tell you. Pack, pack it up. Go home. Um, I don't want to see you on the sticks ever again. We'll get him next time. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, there is another quirk with this, which is it only happens on left corner. Oh. Yeah, with quotations. Because um, it was found out that this can also happen on right corner, too. It's just also very inconsistent. And it can only happen with this button right here, which is her LK, which you can kind of rapid fire, so it's not too bad. But if you ever see someone like up backing in this corner, it's, uh, you can almost get it. It's all, it's again, very inconsistent and it becomes even more inconsistent in this corner. So opponents don't really have anything to worry about here. Hmm. On the off chance that you do hit it, it's very it can be very hard to confirm from, because LK doesn't really have that much uh, um, hit stun in. Oh, I just hit it. Never mind. <laughs> so, as you can see there, there's the quirk where I actually hope that I re actually that may have been a botched recording. Yeah, that was actually a botched recording. Um, but there's actually a quirk on. Uh, specifically right corner where this can happen actually on standing hit very rare very very rare but this can it can happen while the opponent is like technically grounded and it's really it's really weird but the kind of so you can oh there it is oh there it is again but I guess the more the story is don't jump against Psylocke. <laughs> Don't jump against Psylocke. Heard. Because, again, if that's the case, then you just, again, blown up. She gets combo after it. You get uh, BTFO'd. And you die. There's not really much you can do about it. Other than... <laughs> um, I've seen people kind of, like, drift forward. Because super jump, you have, have drifting and kind of like drift forward drift back to kind of like um ease the timing like kind of like uh throw off throw off like her rhythm but this only can get you so far when again drift forward is just forward so it isn't there's not really much options to do with it and Psylocke gets all the reward from it it's Dude. very in her favor can you jump into hers super jump drift again for me so this is her super jump drift she has that. a double jump so the double jump drift i would be so mad whiffing on her in that animation when like all her limbs are completely outside of her hurt boxes like that looks so annoying to deal with 
it is very annoying and she has a really high double jump too i mean really high uh super jump so like this she you can it makes it easier to deal with storm or um other characters but it's very she can be kind of hard to 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 hit which is why some characters took on a more hit and run style with her even though i kind of don't like that style since it really doesn't let her shine the way the way um i think she's supposed to but it's definitely an option and it's because she has like so many options to just like redirect her her jump arc yeah i just she can be very annoying to deal with especially in the air and especially when you have stuff like this which I didn't actually touch on her air buttons, but her air buttons are also really ridiculous. Specifically, uh, this is MP, which on super jump, she recovers, I think, like, this is like six frames of recovery. She recovers very fast during this. At the expense that she doesn't, there's not very much uh, hit stun behind it. So you kind of have to, if you do confirm a hit, you kind of have to, um, kind of have to, like be on guard for it and then she has hp and hk which is also very disjointed and very very horrible so you're gonna so you see a lot of kind of jump in hp hk because she can just rapid fire this like she can just do this back to back make herself extremely plus and on the off chance that you get a hit which happens a lot because again disjointed button that people are trying to anti-air but can't you just uh just blow them up <laughs> just blow them up just blow them up this is that's her motto just blow them up <laughs> especially hk hk is considered a very menace button because oh you can't really see it but she has barely to no hurt box on her leg like this yeah. is just a rectangle yep invincible legs man the true invincible mutation legs. All right, so something that hasn't come up yet, which I'm actually surprised about, um, because this always comes up super fast with this game. We haven't talked about her throw game at all. What's oh, her up? throw game. So, um, she has just some really good throws. It's not anything remarkable. It's not really like, like say, I don't know who has a good throw. Like everybody. <laughs> yeah, I everybody. But it her throws are really good, mostly because of their kind of corner carry properties especially so this is hp throw she does a little roll and she can kind of drag your ass to the corner like. wow <laughs> and so that's really good because it's less work for her to do like you're already in the corner boom boom and then you die <laughs> so it's really it's really good throws you're mostly gonna see mp throw because um she's mostly like throwing out mp and which is really good as um as well um she's allowed to actually redirect where the opponent is going during her throw so i so this is like i'm gonna do mp throw but only hold like left and um i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna do it now i'm gonna hold right and she's allowed to just go anywhere with it. And this is actually like post throw. Like this is during the throw animation. She's allowed to do this. Like her throw is not limited by where she's facing. She can just do whatever she wants with it, huh, which is really good. Sick. And she can actually make it lower to the ground. Um, I actually forgot how to make it lower to the ground. So <laughs> I forgot what of what uh, direction you would hit to make it lower to the ground. But she can also kind of do this for um, HP as well, to a lesser extent. It's mostly just a uh, trajectory, if anything. So that's closer to the ground. That's also closer to the ground. And that's a bit closer to the ground. <laughs> ground is a very, um, she's very grounded, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's really good for kind of corner carries not that she really needs it but we'll we won't we'll just ignore the fact that she's already a corner carry monster right so, yeah uh, don't think about it too much you know yeah and uh as you can see from her up throw from earlier it's also very good because um it's acts more like her 
her um her HP throw when um right to airborne where she does a little roll and again leads to extreme corner carry situations where like sometimes you see opponents like kind of like you see Psylocke players kind of jump up and um kind of get a grab and uh you can be on the other end of the screen coast to coast get thrown to the other corner and then get comboed it's really really kooky exactly here you go real kooky situation where what? he was on the other side of the screen and then he gets thrown to to like the east coast it's crazy dude oh my gosh okay so because like the way we talked about your pressure earlier it's really based on like frame trapping and making them scared to push buttons how often are you peppering a throw in to kind of make them feel like they do need to push buttons like is there a back and forth between like these two things that kind of creates stress is that what you're going for unfortunately her throw game isn't really uh that incentivized that's at least for me hmm. um even though she has some pretty good throws um again they're not really as remarkable as other players i mean other characters throws and also because of the invincibility that uh, players get uh, off off hit or or block um, it's very hard to actually get thrown when you're like doing stuff like this which gives them constant invincibility on on throws gotcha so like this wouldn't really lead to anything and they have to kind of be like asleep on the wheel to kind of get thrown that easily because even though side like players uh, do like to inflict a little tomfoolery and fear onto other players. Um, who doesn't, you know? <laughs> exactly, who doesn't? Um, uh, she doesn't really have a a good uh, option to kind of go for, for throw. So it's kind of like an option that you use kind of like offhandedly, like once every, like once a set, say, to kind of throw them off. Like, hey, surprise, you remember I have a throw? Uh, and then... And then kill him off it. And if anything, I think her air throw is more, um, more of a uh, plus for her. Cause again, you kind of, in the efforts of like you say like cross crushing them, uh, you accidentally get a throw and then they still die for it. It's, it's the way of life. <laughs> it's the way of life. This section always gets a little weird with this game. Let's talk about knockdown scenarios. So a lot of options in this game, some characters like to go for an OTG combo or like force a stand up to start pressure again. Some of them can set up an Oki situation. Uh, what are you doing with Psylocke when you get the opponent knocked down? Um, personally, uh, it's similar to a lot of uh, other, other characters. She has really good options for OTG. So if anything, if they're in an OTG state, you're just gonna wanna go for OTG. As you can see, she can kind of do it off M MK as well. Like you can kind of get OTG from a a huge button that leads into combos. But in some offhand cases where, like, say they have they're on sweep knockdown, and uh, for those cases, I actually like to uh, make them force them to get up using yeah using uh there's a kind of feature in coda where they're allowed to get up they have very get up times and they're allowed to like kind of roll out like tech tech roll out of uh out of knockdowns but you can kind of you gotta force them to get up by by hitting them while they're on the ground in this state which isn't a true otg but it does lead you to kind of continue your pressure so after that they they can block after this there's not like anything like once they get up they can block but right. um that's a that's essentially you know satellite's game plan make them block so um yeah you just want to cut they, off the escape route essentially yeah yeah exactly it's like you're no you're staying here you're gonna be you're gonna be here and take the pressure and so that's that's personally what i like to go for in that case, in in the case that I don't have a uh, OTG, and it can be a really good strategy too. 
do you all right this is very specific but it's just in my head i like set play characters so my first thought when i saw clones is can do you ever have time to set up clones while they're in a knockdown scenario and mix them that way like does that ever come up oh i wish man <laughs> you know how many times i've tried it i'm also very very like kind of set playish uh in my in my play style for some for some games so in there's there's been times where i'm just like and sometimes you can get away with it but also like if they quick get up uh they can just like hit you out of it and also if you don't space it correctly you're in grab range and reversal grabs in kodo is very good uh because uh one frame grabs uh since their proximity right and also because you die off every grab so <laughs> right right all right i i had wishful thinking so i had to ask but yeah and you know the worst part is if they actually grab you clones ends if they hit you clones don't doesn't end but uh on the off chance they do grab you during clones uh you you lose clones so this is just it becomes a bit of a waste of meter honestly but you can sometimes get away with it especially if you're especially if you like space it correctly like that was not spaced correctly, but you get the idea. The true power play is a meaty psionic blade spin for chip damage. Honestly? <laughs> just to assert dominance? Yeah. Yeah, just to, just to let him know. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not afraid of you. Here, <laughs> take the DP that's negative on, on block. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's talk about Psylocke's defense. So we opened this by saying over and over again that she is a glass cannon. She explodes when you touch her, which means you probably have developed some skills around not getting touched. Uh, what do you do when it's time to block with Psylocke? What's your defensive strategy with her? So ironically, I think one of her most defensive options is probably one of her most offensive options, which is like jump back HK. So again, Matt, really disjointed, no hitbox. Right. I mean, no hitbox really disjointed and this is used off very well to wall off opponents like because it's just a big red wall like if they if they walk into it they get hit and on the off chance they do get hit while you while you, while you jump back um i guess you can't really demonstrate it here because he's not walking forward but <laughs> um in the off chance they do you can kind of get a combo off it so there um so in cases like that you kind of want to block wait your time and then once you have a gap just jump boom and they they tend to kind of walk into it and it tends to make them scared to kind of even press against you unless they have an option for it unless they're ready so it it opens up a bit of a mind game where it's like is she gonna jump back and and fucking knock me on my dome or is she just gonna respect my pressure um so big big red wall of a hurt box but other than that she's actually very lacking in defensive options mostly because again her dp five frames of like iframes um no good benefits at all and mostly she's trying to she's trying to kind of get back into to action so i guess this is why this is such a good strategy especially since you can kind of double jump it so not really much of a risk hmm. uh unless they blow you up on an anti-air but only some characters really have a uh, good good uh, anti-air to kind of blow this up <laughs> yeah it's uh it's disjointed that's for sure <laughs> Other than that, uh, you kind of want to do the same thing everyone else does, which is just Suki guard and try to escape. Uh, it's a good thing she has a double jump because she does not lose that option after a super jump guard. Right. So if they do hit you on, if they do hit you on block on super jump, you can kind of like just get away. It's, it's a really good, um, really good uh, traversal option and really good option to escape the corner even though she does go down a bit slowly so if they're ready for it they they can kind of continue with their pressure um she also has double jump on normal jump too but 
It's a bit limited since she can't really drift and she doesn't really have any uh, options from it. Same way that she has over super jump. So if anything, you're going to want to do this to, to kind of get away and make them scared to leave gaps in their pressure. And other than that, you're going to want to just double jump out of the uh, out of the corner. Gotcha. She uh, she also she does have the advantage that she's a counter thrower, correct? Oh uh, yes, sir. So, um, I guess for the audience who don't know, uh, counter throwers in this game are a type of tech option that some characters have, as opposed to safe fallers, where if she gets thrown, um, she is allowed to uh, she's allowed to just tech the throw and. Uh, get some damage off it so in this case I'm gonna try not to uh, mess up my uh, throw mess up my tech so just a note counter throws are also like one frame in this case uh, coda safe fallers don't have uh, don't really have a limitation of like waiting for I mean, teching on certain frames, they can kind of do it while they're in a tech animation just before they get hit um, on a normal hit. So, unfortunately, counter throwers do not have that option. Uh, they have to tech like every other fighting game where um, if you get grabbed, you have like a, like one to two frames to kind of tech the throw. But in the case you do tech the throw, which I didn't dare, obviously, <laughs> I'm, I'm notoriously bad for teching throws in this game, so... Be patient with me. So in the case that you do, boom. They can, uh, they get thrown off you and take some damage for, uh, for that. But um, she actually has the worst counter throw in the game. Aww. Now, it isn't because for any reason in particular, like, oh, she's negative on hit or something. But she uh, doesn't really get much reward off it, like say uh, other counter throws like Sentinel or um, Colossus, where they can actually combo off their counter throws and kind of uh, guarantee guarantee a win off it. Actually, like it can be a kind of got 'em, GG's, uh, you threw me, so you die uh, right. type thing. Um, her throw leads to a. Um, um, a sweep knockdown and there's really not much you can do about it like there's not really um, any any way to kind of circumvent that like say if you're airborne like they get thrown up higher so you can combo off it no there's not really it's really just uh, she gets a knockdown and then you guys return to neutral hopefully how uh, how's her super move is it any is it like ever worth guard canceling into it so um, I actually wanted to touch on her super move on pressure but i got kind of sidetracked by a uh, big cross crush um tech but no worries we got it now let's do it yes let's go um so you never want to unfortunately she's not one of those characters that have has the privilege of um being able to really have a good guard cancel option off super you never really want to guard cancel super because long starred up and I think it has little to no iframes. It has like the same iframes she has on on DP, but you know, to a even worse extent because her super is actually like 20 or 30 frames. That being said, her super is very good. Very good. Actually could be used as a way to tra uh, traverse the, the screen. Like you can kind of use this to escape the corner too, so her super is actually plus on 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 block and hit. So if they block that, actually, they're um you're like plus. So I want to say plus five plus. It depends on the distance too. Like it depends on on spacing. And if you super jump this, um the super jump actually changes the state of the of the super. So that way you can um you actually get a uh, super jump options off it so you can you can go into drift and you can get double jump which normally she can't get off a normal jump so you never want to use this on normal jump because it's it's kind of bad uh she can get drift off it and 
she just like goes immediately to the ground other than if you do a double jump but actually um this option this option can be used defensively kind of um she does have a weird like kind of like horizontal um type of hitbox so you can actually go under stuff with this because what isn't what isn't a move that she can't go under in this game apparently um but she can go under stuff with this and this can be used as a kind of uh a space closer but also a way to escape although it's really hard to give it that much credit because again it does cause meter so you have the downside of of the the resources that you waste doing this and she can actually this is all i think one of the only supers in the game if not the only super in the game that she can do like twice so boom boom and she can kind of redirect herself it costs all your meter but it's actually a really good option to kind of like get in to kind of um get in and then immediately get out unless you drag them with you <laughs> in that case i guess i guess that's in your favor how's the chip on it the chip's actually really good since it hits like eight times um this can actually be used to um chip out opponents i mean they have to they have to kind of uh not be ready for it because again like it has quite a bit of startup but i've definitely gotten a lot of people with with chipping with this because you're kind of like going about your pressure boom boom and then as they're as they're blocking they're not expecting you to go into big flash super and then they they get chipped out i think it's sauce time you ready to show some uh, some silox sauce oh silox sauce let's go so i guess it's time to really demonstrate her her infinites and demonstrate a little quirk with her super let's do it You've kind of seen me do some combos already in this video because it's kind of like muscle memory to immediately go into a combo after after you get like a confirmed hit. Like right. Koda has just kind of made me like that, unfortunately. But unfortunately, uh, fortunately. Well, fortunately, because <laughs> that you made me better at like hit confirming stuff. But uh, I guess for demonstration purposes, it can be like kind of weird. Like why is he why is he hitting them? <laughs> But, so, uh, let's demonstrate some sauce. So, I want to kind of do a corner carry into a big, big combo. Um, again, her corner carry is really good. I never really showed you the extent of that. So, let me, let me show you. And then... I'm <laughs> oh okay so we so i actually called this combo the around the world um because you take them you take them coast to coast because of a low quirk with the super which you can allows you to drag them all the way to the end of the screen which is why she needs to be so high for this actually because um it usually doesn't work on on uh on when you're so uh close to the ground but she can actually combo off this which uh if i can get this the combo oh my screen oh, actually no like, try and get him to stun and so we can go into this And that was not reset. I just dropped the combo. <laughs> but Dude. oh my god! Okay, do you build enough meter on like after the first time to do it again the other direction? Like you would you... be correct. Yes. Oh sir, you no! <laughs> <laughs> so you can do this again. I dropped it. Um, but you can do this again. <laughs> That's unreal. I've done, this, I've done this up to like three times in match, but usually I choke it to do it more than more than three times. But. That's so fun. It's a really, really funny option. 
because some characters, a lot of characters do not have a option to kind of loop their super. In fact, like a comboable super in this game is kind of kind of rare, um, unless you're certain characters, like for example, Cyclops, who can also kind of loop his super and get the meter back during the combo after he loops the super. You just get weird interactions like that in Coda. This is just a really just a Coda thing, just Coda moment. Which is, I wanted to like put this all in the combo, but so Ooh. as you can see there, um, Silox projectile is usually minus on hit, but if you can space it correctly during a air hit, um, you can actually combo off it, which is usually an option she doesn't really get because if you if you hit someone in a combo with a her projectile, then. You kind of just gave them, <laughs> kind of just like drop your combo afterwards since she recovers kind of long. Dude, and then you went, you did it, and then you sh went into the super across the screen. So this is some very fluid combo structure. Yeah. She doesn't really have many combo uh, routes, but this one she has, you could say, is pretty saucy. She also has a kind of variation of of the super on towards the ground where she can. Yep, there you go. Even though I kind of dropped oh. it. Oh. She has a variation of it towards the ground, which is actually even more strict because you you kind of want to hit them. Want to make sure the hit super hits them towards the end of the super. So you can hit them with like a little like the last hit of it, because if you don't, then they just they just get uh they just go into a the sweep knockdown and you can't pick them up after it. But in the off case that you do, you can immediate you can immediately combo afterwards. Again, I'm dropping it quite a bit, but you can immediately combo afterwards and kind of get a. A sequence down. I I don't know why I went backwards. <laughs> Just go into whatever you want afterwards, and I'm doing a bad job of demonstrating it. But um, dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Can I get to 100 hits? Ooh. Can I kill? Ooh, let's go. Dude. Oh my god. The sauce. And there's your sauce. <laughs> there it is. Is there anything important that we haven't discussed yet that you want to slide in here before we wrap it up? Um, 6MK. <laughs> oh, okay. So I saw this in the wiki earlier, and I meant to ask about it. So when you go to her wiki page, there's a list of pro, like a strengths and weaknesses, just like you're looking at a dust loop page or whatever. And the last line of weaknesses is, no, 6MK is not an overhead. Don't use it. <laughs> yeah, that was specifically written by me. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's let's talk it out. Let's talk it out. Let All me know. Right. So this is six MK. It's really good. Looks like a really good overhead. It's not overhead. <laughs> it's not overhead. It's actually one of her worst buttons in the game. So this is a command normal, and um, it looks like HK. It actually kind of has the hitbox of the HK too, which is like really disjointed. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Not good at all. So I'm gonna put them to crouch block. Uh, I turned, yeah, I almost turned off hitboxes. Um, I gotta put them to crouch block, <laughs> and you get you get little interactions like this where like it looks like it should. And people, it's the crazy thing is like, um, because of like just like fighting game like intuition. Um, people, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Oh wait, it's because he was blocking the wrong way. Um. People kind of have like the intuition of, oh, she's in the air and she's trying to do like this like overhead kick, block high. You do not have to block high against this. In fact, it's bad. It's like negative, uh, 
it's negative whatever. I forgot how negative this is, but it's really bad. You can get punished on hit with this. Like, you could die from doing this. And it's really hard since you can... Since if you're doing stuff like dashing... Dashing MK to kind of, like, make yourself do some, like, safe strings in the, like, safe pokes in, in neutral. You can accidentally get this and you will die. That's it. It's over. And the worst part is, even though it looks like an overhead that can that goes all the way down, it does not. Some characters could crouch under this. And if they and if you accidentally get a character who can crouch under this with this move, um they can immediately whiff punish you and you die even harder. Like there's not really much you can do with this button other than like uh, I guess you can cancel it, but it's not. Why would you cancel this up close when Psy Blast is so negative? There's yeah, really not could, much you can do. You can just double down and cancel it into the spin. <laughs> like oh, <laughs> that didn't I, even hit. I was using <laughs> my most negative move against you exactly. I use even more negative against you. That's so funny. All right, so don't use six MK. Heard. Don't use 6MK. <laughs> Horrible move. Um, I guess... Let me also talk about um, the different options he has on 5H... Uh, 5HK? So, actually, there is different command normals on 5HK that change 5HK. Like, uh, fundamentally, I guess. Um, there is 4HK, which he does a little hop, and then does HK. Which can also actually be cancelled, by the way. Like, you can do, like, boop. Okay. And 6HK, where she does a little roll after it. <clears throat> I would like to assure you that both of these options aren't really that good, especially the roll. So, something weird about the roll is um, it actually could lead to an infinite? If it, Okay, so actually, the roll side switches as well. Which you think would be a good option to open up characters, but if they block this, they, you're super negative. And yeah, getting grabbed. Yeah, you get uh, grabbed immediately. I never get away with this. Like, there's not, there's not a moment where like, there's not a move where like, oh, like if you used it like, you know, like offhandedly during like a match and never use it again. Like they, they kind of don't expect it. No, like people in this game are already ready to like throw you. So like, you're just giving them ample reason to throw you. But this does lead to an infinite in the corner, I guess. It leads to like baby's first infinite because you can just do. I I dropped it like, I called it baby's first infinite and then immediately dropped it. <laughs> so you can you can do that and it's not that good especially when you have like normal HK. It leads to the damage there reset because I dropped it again. But um, it's not really that good. It's not something you're you're looking for. Right. It's like this is the this is the thing you, this is the infinite you do when you can't do HK because HK HK cancels can actually be kind of kind of tough. They're kind of uh, they can be strict on the timing if you don't know the the rhythm to it. So I guess baby's first infinite. And other than that, if you use this in any other scenario, you die. Use this to side switch, you die. Um. Use this to um, use this on block. Uh, you also die because again, it's basically HK with like horrible recovery. Cause you just little roll. Um, and I really don't really see a scenario where anyone would use this, unfortunately. And then there's also for uh, HK, which is just a little hop back, which is this move actually isn't that bad. I don't give it enough credit, but um, it's you can kind of jump under um, lows with this. I guess you can also do this with this move, but we don't talk about the forbidden move. Um, you can jump over to under lows with this and you can also cancel it midway through. So it's it can actually be a kind of good escape tool. Like, if you just want to, like, position yourself outside of, like, certain buttons in neutral, just, like, boom, and then immediately, like, cancel it. And also, there's a little quirk with it, which, um, if you use this with, like, dash momentum, it becomes extremely cracked and takes you, like, across the screen, which I guess I'll demonstrate now. <laughs> what? Which, 
I don't know why she jumps back <laughs> 20 feet. <laughs> she jumps back like 20 feet after this. Huh. Whatever works, eh? <laughs> maybe she is a hit and run character. Maybe, maybe I was just lying this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we like we got somewhere today. We came to a conclusion. <laughs> Maybe I was just lying this whole time, but she gets, she gets this, which is actually it. It could be used as a little hit and run tool, especially since again I, really, not really any way to punish this, because unless you have a character that can somehow travel the screen at mock speed and then, and then uh, immediately hit her while she's doing this, and so you can kind of harass them by doing, boom boom and then projectile, which. As we discussed before, projectiles extremely, extremely harassable, I guess you would say. All right, dude. We made it to the end. We did it. We did it. Appreciate you taking the time, man. This character is badass. She has some kooky stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I know, I know people meme about, specifically me, but I, I know, <laughs> know people meme about her being, you know, Cyclops, female Cyclops, or kind of hk the character but she she has a lot of interesting stuff that that a lot of characters do not have access to and i think what makes her unique is like even though she's kind of like uh similar to the archetype cyclops is going for it's kind of like the subtle subtle um changes in her game plan that um drastically change her from like a very unique character in the in the roster also she has like crackhead speed so i don't know she's she is speed 